And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you the opener of a big four-game weekend set. It's the Detroit Tigers and the Texas Rangers. And now when I go gentle in tonight, find the path, find the journey, find the purpose. Making sure that all the pain I felt was worth it. I'm a First pitch coming your way next. I'm a stand. So just about set now, and on the hill in this one, John Gray. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Yeah, his batting average against is actually better when he's in a jam. So we'll see if he continues to dance his way out of danger. All right, ready to get underway. Leading now, the Javier Baez. The, the short shot. Javier, Javier Baez. Baez. The pitch. Whoa. That misses. Damn. And that's how this series begins. The 1 0. Ball that time. All right, Jackson. Fought off foul. The 2 1. That one ball, missed. One yeah, there's the strike. Well, it looks hey. like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a pop up. Pulls it in for the out. And now the Tigers line up for manager A.J. Hinch. It's been a downright dreadful year for them offensively. They are dead last in the league in run scored. Book, the clubhouse guys don't even like watching these guys play. That's how bad it is. And those guys are usually your biggest cheerleaders when things aren't going well. But uh, the team, they're lacking in some areas for sure. They're going to have to figure out some ways to try to upgrade this lineup. Maybe it's something that takes place in the offseason. But you just can't put this type of product out on the field if you want to maintain a good, solid fan base. The pitch. Aye. No score just getting started. Top of the first. The oh. next pitch misses, and it's one and two. 0 oh, 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Swing and a ball popped up, and it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that, but there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Here comes the 01. Hit in the air, right field. Garcia settles under it. Brings it in. Two away down. That is good. The catch at number 13. Eric. Eric. Haas. Haas. Eric Haas up now for the Tigers. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. Nope, he held back. The 1-1. One -one. That's ball two. Two balls, one strike.
And a foul ball. That one to first. Low takes it to the bag, and that is that. One left for Detroit, and now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and on the mound in this one, Michael Lorenzen. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Bubba Thompson, the next to hit, takes ball one. It's even up. Well, interesting strategy there. He must have seen something after that first pitch. Didn't attempt to bunt, but here on the second one, he does. Kicks and deals. Falling oh, behind down. two and one. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get the out. <laughs> Up next for the Rangers, Julio Pablo Martinez. Run around the goal. Pitch misses. Save and Zach it with a stolen base. Ziggy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Move to second. Thompson back on a dive. Next pitch is outside. Runner at second, nobody out. Ball Next three. offering is down low. And that's ball three. Left hand batter waits. And yeah, there's ball four. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. In the air out to center. He's under it. He's got it. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Coming off a big one in their game yesterday, Marcus Simeon. Real solid performance for him in his last ball game. Couple of home runs, got to jog around the bases, looked really locked in. And, you know, that's the kind of confidence that you want to see a guy have. I'm not saying he has to hit two homers again, but I think he's going to be a factor in this one. Corey Seager stands in now and watches strike one. On the ground, could be two. Cabrera, toss to second, return throw to first, got him, double play, and that'll do it. We head to the second in Arlington, no score. Welcome back, all set for the start of the inning. Now the left fielder, Kerry Carpenter. Kerry. Carpenter. Come on, Rangers. 
The wind and the pitch. And that's too high. Next one misses, and now 2-0. Oh. Eric no Summersgill, break. our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Two balls, one strike. Next offering is foul back. Very high with that one. Three and two now. Kicks and fires. Ripped to third and picked on a hop. Fires across the diamond. One up, one down. The right field. Austin Meadows. Austin Meadows now. Strike one. On one. And that one fouled off. Line drive to short and caught. And now it's Jonathan Scope. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Second inning here, no score. Why to kick the pitch? And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. Ball. Two balls, two strikes. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. pitch that one missing inside three and two payoff pitch swings and misses and good work there as he gets a one two three Tigers fail to make any noise we'll go to the bottom of the second no score Ready to go for the last Here half of the inning. Here's and now Marcus Simeon. Marcus. Chris Marcus Simeon, Bay Area guy, played his college ball at Cal. White Sox selected him in the sixth round in 2011, and he has developed into a fine player. Nope. Yeah, and he comes from a really Cal good Boyle. athletic line. His dad played football at Cal. His mom was also an athlete in college. And this guy is just a really good leader on a ball club. Had a breakout to his career when he went to Toronto and started hitting home runs left and right. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Two 
And that's in for a strike. Good job to fight that one off. Two two now. Simeon waits. Stops it on a slide to first, and that's a great play for the out. That is good. The right field. The out. Adolis Garcia. Next pitch downstairs, and it's 1 0. One down, base is empty. That one's in there, and the count is 1 and 1. Just nope, missed. Come on, Swing and a miss. <laughs> and now two and two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches seven, seven, seven. to even the that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Brad Miller now. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. And a good eye there. Next offering is in for a strike. Miller tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. He held up. Carl Dixon with the call there. And a 2-2. Two -two. And now the count filled up three and two. Swings and misses. The high heat too much on that one. Rangers go down quickly there. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And now the DH, Matt Veerling. And the right hander back to work. Veerling in the eighth spot in today's lineup and he was a fifth round pick back in 2018 and the 1-0 that one fouled off popped up to the left into foul ground and there's one down Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open, backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Nick Maton now at the plate, had the day off yesterday. Ball one, no strikes. Just missed. Top of the third, no score. And it's fouled away. Left hand hitter waits. 
And that one sliced foul. Here's a rocket out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Now that the batter now, Javier Baez. He's 0 for 1. Baez, multi-time All-Star, 30 years old now, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Foul ball there. Puerto Rico doesn't just produce baseball talent, it produces Hall of Fame talent from Roberto Clemente to Pudge Rodriguez. Here comes the 0-1. Late swing, fouled off. Oh and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. Three up, three down for Detroit. Still no score. Bottom of the inning, and we stepping go, in the is the speedy Ezekiel the Duran. Ezekiel Duran. Lorenzen back to work. That misses the zone. Ball one. That clips a corner. And a 1-1. One, one. Ball. 2-1. Looked like it was a little bit up. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Samba will hit next. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. Huff goes six feet, five inches, 240 pounds, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Got it! Really had to move for that grab. And there's one down. Now that no left Bubba. So the batting order turns over, and now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter. Bubba Thompson reached on an infield single his first time. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Duran leads off first with one away. Swing and a base hit. This is why hitters work so hard on driving the ball gap to gap in batting practice. There's a lot of room out there. If you can rip one into that open space, it usually means extra bases. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Next to hit, Julio Pablo Martinez. Ground ball to first, could be two. Over to Baez. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Three innings complete. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Riley Green. Green. 
And a pitch. That's Just a missed. Count one and oh. Pitch misses there, and the count is two and, two and, and oh. oh. And he deals. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. And the pitch. In the air, left side. Drops into the glove. One down. Now bad. And now up to hit. Miguel Cabrera flied to right his first time. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now that the catcher, Eric. Eric. Oh. Eric Haas digs in now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one drilled left field just inside the line and it's down for a knock. Lead runner holds at third so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. And here is Kerry Carpenter. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Inside, just missed. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Check swing. He won it. That is strike two. Second and third here. One away. Got him! Huge strike out there. Now it's Austin Meadows. He's 0 for 1. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Lay at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. On the board first, it's one zip. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. So they get one run, three hits, no errors, and one left on. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Tigers one, and the Rangers. Welcome back. Bottom four. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Here comes a pitch. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And a swing and a miss there. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. One ball. Next offering Two down in the dirt. Yeah, the one-two two misses Two to strike. even the count. Two-two now. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do oh, against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough Seeker. on that one. And here's Corey Seeger to hit. He hit it to a double play his first time up. Ball Next one. offering is down low. 1-0.
And the right-hander deals. And Whoa, another ball. There's a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. The 2-1. This to center field. Green pulls it down, and there's two gone. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't no seem bad. like things Number are in two. sync, and the ball's Second just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Here is Marcus Simeon, grounded out to short in his first trip. Chris, how about the 2021 season for Marcus Simeon? He was an all-star, and he hit 45 home runs. The pitch. One of the other aspects with Marcus Simeon, when he first came up with Oakland, he really struggled defensively, and he worked so hard. Ron Washington, a guy that helped him out, he ultimately ended up earning a gold glove. Yeah, Ron Washington has helped out so many infielders over the years. He's even willing to work with guys in the opposing teams. We saw him in the All-Star game working with NL East rival Pete Alonso. And a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the second baseman, Jonathan Scope. Jonathan Scope. The pitch. Well, these Tigers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Ball to strike. Swing and a pop-up. Scope gone to the play, and there's one down. The bat number eight, designated hitter, Matt. Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. He popped out his first time. Pulls that one foul. Righty to the plate. And there's the ball. Two strikes. And that's outside. The pitch. You got a full count? Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. And next to hit for Detroit, Nick Maton. 0 for 1 so far. In there, and it's 0 and 1. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. And that one moves his feet. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing at a ball popped up. 
And he makes the catch. And there are two down. Now that the football. Javier Baez. Now it's Javier Baez. Struck out on just three pitches last time. That misses oh, that the down. zone. Ball one. That one out to right. Baez gone on the play. And the inning is over. Tigers leave one, but they're on top, one nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and the batter now, Adolis Garcia. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And here it comes. And ball one. Ball one, no play. There's a strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Center field. Green going after it. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one away. So next to hit for Texas, Brad Miller. His first at bat was a strikeout. Oh. And takes low for ball one. Good That's eye right there. there. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. And there's the strike. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swing and a miss. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. And the righty deals. Out to short bias. Tosses to first. And that is that. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They trail here, one nothing. Top six. Here's Riley Green. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. That's in there, and that is strike one. Green goes six feet, three inches, 22 years old. A former first-round pick back in 2019. The wind of the pitch. Tapped in front of the plate. Over to low. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. 
And here's the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera, one for two. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Pitchers on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. One gone runner at first. And now the catcher comes up to him. Eric Haas on the ground left side, six, four. Oh. Three, it's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Tigers one, and the Rangers nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning, and here is Sam Hunt. Lorenzen back to work. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Next offering is in for a strike. This ball's chopped on the ground. Tosses the first leadoff man retired in the sixth. Well, on the mound, no very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. Here's Bubba Thompson. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Going one. That's inside. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty delivers. And now the count is even. Swing and a ball popped up. Sko squeezes it. That's out number two. The center field, number one. Julio Pablo Martinez stepping in for the Rangers. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Next one just misses, and the count is one and two. Left hand batter waits. Got him, and that is that. No runs, no hits, no errors. We're through six full. It's the Tigers one, and the Rangers nothing. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Andrew Heaney. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with a lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Terry Carpenter getting ready to hit. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. There's a strike.
They say you win. Oh, two is the count. Hard ground ball, base now. Now that the right here. Austin. Now it's Austin Meadows. Meadows. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Bunting and he pops it up. He beats it out. And it's first and second on the infield single. This couldn't have played out any better on offense. They were trying to trade it out to move the runner into scoring position, but instead they just couldn't make the play on defense. You really need to get it out there. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan Scope. All one there. Carpenter on second. Meadows on at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. And now the lefty. Here's a high fly ball out to center. He's under it. Makes the catch. One away. The bat, number eight. Designated hitter, Matt. Next is the designated hitter, Matt Veerling. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And that's in there for strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. He's under it. Hauls it in, two away. Nick Maton now at the plate. And Boog, I'd say he's due. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And strike two. Now this is a rocket to left. Thompson puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Tigers strand a pair, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Here at the ballpark, Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Zingy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The Tigers have some action going in their pen for the first time. Jose Cisnero getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Thompson, the lefty, warming up as well. The tying run at the plate. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. On the ground, and it goes just foul. Kicks and deals. Fouls it off, still one and two.
The pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. And foul ball. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. And a one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. And now two and two. And a pitch. To the right side. Takes it himself. One away. Big time out leading off the home set. Now it's Corey Seager. And things could change quickly here with one swing. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's in for a strike. And now two and one. Right side, hard hit. In plenty of time to first, and that quickly, two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. That's in for a strike. Fouled off down the right side. Going two now. And that one is inside ball one. In the dirt, the count now two and two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Gathers and throws to first. And Simeon is out. And that is the inning. And the Rangers set down in order. And it remains one nothing. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Javier Baez. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball left field. And it's caught for the out. Up next is the Tiger. The center so up next, Riley Green. One for three. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Joe Barlow up and throwing. The wind and the pitch. Good eye right there. Two balls, no strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Dives, but it falls. Could be extra bases. Now around second, going for third. He's in there. 
multi-hit game for him now and with the yeah, lack yeah. of results he's been that's having lately I'm sure he's feeling yeah, some yeah. relief as a hitter there's not a whole lot better of a feeling than a double into the gap right off the bat you know you put a great swing on the baseball and up next for Detroit Miguel Cabrera he was the big part of the field last time nice liner to center there's the strike in the infield at the corners. Oh, Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Green stands at third with one gone in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One run game. One out. One on. Foul ball still a one and two count. Just misses the mark outside the zone. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Here's a 2-2. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Eric Haas will hit next. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. Here comes a pitch. And now the count, one, one and two after the swing and the miss. Haas tries to hold up, appeal to first. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. Two outs with a runner at third. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two outs. Struck him out without a swing. Fastball to letters froze him for strike three. One left for Detroit, but they lead it one to nothing. On to the bottom of the eighth at the play. Adolis Garcia. And a pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. At the belt and fires. That's a little bit low. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. 
The pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a cold strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. A.J. Hinch makes another pitching change. Michael Lorenzen done for the night. Really solid performance out of him as he leaves with a slim lead. We'll take a break. New arm when we get back. New pitcher for the Tigers, Zach Thompson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. No outs, runner at first. Next to hit, Brad Miller. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First offering misses the mark. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Thompson checks over to first, and he's back. Another throw over, and he's back again. Next offering is foul back. with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here the pitch that one misses two balls two strikes stays alive Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Over to first, and he's safe. Two-two. Got it by him for the K. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. And now here is Ezekiel Duran. Jack Swing went around 0-1. And now the lefty, good eye in that spot. Step off, throw to first, and he's back standing. Ball to strike, the pitch. On the ground, right side, and a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Really important at bat coming up now. And the batter now, Sam Huff. Next offering is down low. Swings through that one out in front that time. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Ground ball left side could be two. There's one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. And welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Kerry Carpenter. Number 30, Kerry Carpenter. Heaney back to work. 
that one down the line and that's just foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Upstairs. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Next pitch is downstairs. The punch out there, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here is Austin Meadows. First pitch, and he just misses. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. So two balls and no strikes. And here it comes. And misses inside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And that is in for a strike. And the count is three and one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three, two. Ripped to short. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Two outs, bases empty. Stepping in, Jonathan Scope. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Now one and one. Here's a one one. That's down and in. Fly ball down the line. Garcia makes the play, and it's out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, due up. It's the Tigers one and the Rangers nothing. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Alex Lang. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Now the left fielder, Bubba Thompson. Well, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. First pitch doesn't find the zone. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Line drive, that's a base hit. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. No outs, runner at first. Next up for Texas, Julio Pablo Martinez. Puts a bunt down. Scope. He is safe! Maybe a little 
small ball is exactly what the doctor ordered to rev up this offense, and they've been pretty quiet all game, so maybe this wakes them up a bit and helps them get on the board. Digging in, Nathaniel Lowe. First pitch, not close. Oh, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats, quality swings right now, and see this offense doing it one man to the next showing a lot of fight right now and they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game and there's a foul ball one run game bottom nine oh. could be some action here on this next pitch couple runners on probably a challenge pitch coming And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. Nobody out. Both the tying and winning runs on base. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Line drive, base hit. Headed for the plate. He'll score and they tie it. It's 1-1. Huge moment for him and his team, Boog. You know, some guys just grip it a bit too tight in a big spot like this, having a chance to tie it up in the bottom of the ninth. But he didn't let the moment get to him. Thumbs up with the RBI knock, and now he's giving his teammates a chance to walk this thing off with the win if they can push across another run. A new pitcher in the game, Jason Foley. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Seeger stands in now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Winning run on second. No one out. Next pitch misses, and one and one. Hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Throw is offline. This one's over. And the Rangers walk it off. Well, you come into the ninth inning down. First, you're looking to tie it. They did that, but then they got the extra to put themselves on top. These guys knew exactly what it was going to take to win this ball game. I love it when you see guys find a way to win, and that's what they did today. Your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.
One run, eight, eight hits, hits, no errors. errors. They left eight, eight men on base. Eight. Time of the ball game, two hours, two hours and 38 eight minutes. minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.